about this previous week in gaming. This previous week in gaming. Okay, so <sighs> there was actually there was the big thing that happened that I saw almost everywhere that No Man's Sky was getting a bunch of stuff. It was a huge patch. It was called Atlas Rises. I don't know if it actually released or not yet. I think it has. I haven't touched No Man's Sky in like six months. Okay. So what kind of patch stuff's gonna happen? Well, I mean, they did come up with the thing about uh, being able to like modify the terrain, and they're adding more story, like 30, 30 hours of story with a new, a new race of people. Um, I'm not sure what the nature of that is. Supposedly, it's it's supposed to tell you what's going on with, like, the Atlas and the aliens. I actually don't remember what the aliens are called. Um, okay, anyways, they're aliens. Um, supposed to tell more about the story of what's going on. Um, I still don't entirely understand what the deal was, but... Um, so 30 extra hours, double the lore, double the story. They're adding all kinds of new things, like the monoliths that you find that they showed in their teaser trailers back in like 2014 or whatever, um, where you walk through the portal and go to another planet. That's finally in the game. Um, and that, yeah, you still have to activate them yourself. It's not like you just walk up on it. Um, you actually have to learn how to use the monoliths, which, Still kind of sucks. I never liked that. Why don't you just... Why can't you just go through? Anyways. Yeah, just finding out more about what's going on in their whole galaxy or whatever. That's pretty much the, the gist of it. Uh, you can salvage crashed freighters and stuff, apparently. Which I honestly, in the time I played No Man's Sky, I never came across one. Like a crashed freighter. But, you know, it changes to combat. Um, you can fly lower to the ground. You can even crash into the ground. Um, which is stuff that the mods on the PC made it able to do. They're just finally making it on the PS4. Um, so you mentioned the little flight, possible the monoliths. Um, are they bringing in multiplayer or any kind of? Yes. Okay. Sean Murray said that there would be some multiplayer, but it was unlikely that you would run across anyone that was later proven to be false because two players were in the same area on the same planet. And they couldn't find each other. So there wasn't multiplayer in any form. Well, they finally brought that into No Man's Sky. Um, the unfortunate thing is that the multiplayer is very similar to... What was it? Fable 2 did the, the orb thing? Wasn't with it Fable 3? I thought it was Fable 2. Whichever one you... One of the Fables. Of. Oh, yeah. That was, that was Fable 3. Okay, so Fable 3 had multiplayer. We saw, like, little orb people. Um, and they would go, whoop. Yeah, and, and you can marry watch. them and have kids or whatever. And give them can, gifts. Yeah, give them gifts. That's what multiplayer in No Man's Sky is going to be. Except you can't marry them. You can not interact with them, as far as I know, in any way. There might be voice chat or something. I don't know, but... It's up to 16 players who can play on the same area. It's just it shows up as a little orb, and that's it. That's multiplayer. Which is a step forward, but still kind of... Why would you... Why not just save it to have an actual multiplayer or something like that? That No Man's Sky is the big news, basically. I'll put a link to the patch notes in the description. So, in other gaming news, tell me a little bit about the Fallout 4 Game of the Year edition. Yes. So, I don't know who gave Game of the Year to Fallout 4, um, but they have a Game of the Year edition coming out this September for $60. Um, it'll include all of the DLC, the Automatron, the Wasteland Workshop, the Vault Tech Workshop, Nuka Land, and then Far Harbor. Um, contraptions workshop. Yes, Contraptions Workshop as well. Um, so you get all the, like, every every freaking Complete Edition, Ultimate Edition, Game of the Year Edition, all of them include all the DLC. That's what you get. 
So if you already own Fallout 4, there's really no point in buying it. There is a, um, they're re-releasing the Pip-Boy thing, the little arm mounted thing. It won't have the cool crate, but it will be the actual Pip-Boy, like you put your phone in it. They have said that they're not updating it, so if you have a phone that's larger than what fits in it, you're SOL. But that's only $100, and it includes the Game of the Year edition. It comes out the same day. Tell me a little bit about um, Hellblade's release, Battlefield 1, and eSports. Yes. Okay, so Hellblade, I probably won't play it because it looks like a visual nightmare. Oh, hi. You coming up here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she sees herself. Um, She's like, oh, that's a swanky looking corgi. Yes, it is. So Hellblade is a new release where you play as a Celtic female war warrior and you go around murdering demons and stuff like that. It, it looks neat. It would give me a really bad migraine to play that game. And everyone's been saying how much they love the game. I won't play it. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. But I've heard good things. And what about Battlefield 1? Yes, so Battlefield 1 is becoming part of EA Access, which is kind of a big deal, meaning that, um, you know, if you want to try Battlefield 1 and you haven't already, you How can... How come you don't have it? I don't know. I always meant to buy it, I just never actually did. I can play it now, it's part of EA Access, so... Um, it actually follows on the heels of Titanfall 2, because Titanfall 2 just made its way in there. So if you have an Xbox One, and you want to play with me on Titanfall 2, or if I end up getting EA Access again, um, I could play Battlefield 1. We can play together. It'll Yay! be fun. Yeah, everyone loves that. Um, I'm not very good at it, so... I mean... I'll, I'll be your medic. How about that? Um, and the last thing, we were talking about eSports, right? Yep. Okay, so eSports is apparently in like 2024 people are saying there's rumblings that it might be part of the olympics esports wow people have people have googled this esports to be a medal event at 2022 asian games 